Why, hello there, folks. Welcome. It's Monday night, so it's time to get retro. Welcome. This is my stream. I do every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, either retro like this or otherwise. Or well, in this case, I showcase retro games for retro systems. And I define any system that predates native support for HDMI as being retro. This week, I'm doing Doom 3 for the original Xbox. And I got my Steelbook Edition copy of it here. Uh, sadly, this is not my original from back in the day. This is not even my original Xbox from back in the day. This is the uh, most recent uh, original Xbox purchase of mine. Because my previous one crapped out and I was uh, trying to do uh, this uh, game the, for the first time. Uh, so yeah, I recently got it in a week ago today in fact a week ago yet tomorrow actually we got it all hooked up it seems to be running well and since this is the game i wanted to do the most this is going to be the one i'm doing first uh this is the um 2005 port of the uh, pc game uh, i had a copy of this game back in the day um later I guess than back in the day but I had a copy of this and I traded it in like everything I get and um, I didn't, don't think I really got very far in it I actually played the demo of the original version on my first laptop when that game came out I don't think I got very far in that either I think I got far enough to beat the demo in any case I'm going to sit down here for a few hours couple hours maybe and I'm gonna try to get as far as I can a couple of word of warning though uh, this is not gonna mean as much to the stream but it's gonna mean a heck of a lot to me this is a very dark game literally I actually have a lot of difficulty seeing in it so uh, this and it's actually a lot lighter on the preview window on my capture software than it is on <laughs> my TV and I'm too lazy slash afraid to mess around with the brightness settings on the control on this TV to try to compensate for that. So I'm just going to say it adds to the atmosphere and leave it at that. We start a new game. Uh, Marine, it says that's normal difficulty. That's normal difficulty. So I'll go with that. This game is basically a, a retelling of the original Doom, which is pretty much the same thing as Doom Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. Other With scientific unlimited endeavors, funds endeavors, and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Okay. Very Robocop-esque intro there, I think. Incoming transport detected. Now, Doom 2016 was originally being developed as Doom 4, the sequel to this game. Mars approach, Darkstar, with you 07063, passing through 38,000. Roger, Darkstar, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. I am playing this game using a Duke controller we for the radar, authentic sir. original Xbox moments. feel. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. That's tower, Dark Star on fire. Duke controller back in the day. I do have We've got Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm 
gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. Alright, we're being scanned for some reason. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Yes, that was a pre-rendered cutscene. I do have the original Xbox hooked up to the open source scan converter via some component cables set at 2x resolution. And the OG Xbox is also set to 480p. So the OCC is getting it close to 1080p. And yeah, still not going to look great on this 4K screen of mine, but whatever. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological Attention. study, Director and Banks. military operations. Please report to Central Administration. Rule number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, Find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our I station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources hey, manager. Some if you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your yeah, that, that, that. liaison. Thank you. That's some very nice Max Payne looking quality um vending machine there. At least it actually looks worse, but I'm not sure. I kinda wanna get an original PC copy of Doom 3. I bet they have a box copy of it in one of my local used game stores. At least the one that I have near me that actually sells old PC games. I bet I could get a copy of that real cheap. Highly doubt it runs on this computer though. I also kind of want to get the BFG edition simply for the VR support that that game supposedly has. It's supposed to be real good. Oh yeah, game. Let's get back to actually playing. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. Or PDA. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. What's that? Head directly to Marine background. Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. All right. Use the D-pad. Port to Marine Headquarters, your PDA and you. Alright. Kind of a long loading process to get in and out of your PDA there. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Hmm. Hit right trigger to interact with things. Right trigger, it's not just shooting. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've really? been authorized Anthony by the board Hopkins to look at everything. There. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Well, duh. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked complaining requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. 
If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you Funny get lost, Swan. About money, just and stay out of my way. More of it. Amazing things will happen like here money's soon. Money's not important. You just I'm wait. Me more of it. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Good thing we were there to watch that cutscene. We arrived just in the nick of time to uh, get the important stuff, I guess. So which button activates the D? Let's see here. I think it's the black button here. Yeah. Yeah, this game uh, doesn't really look all that great on the original Xbox, does it? <laughs> all right. So yeah, lost DP, PDA. Is this about your TPS reports? This game looked a lot better on the PC. Obviously, it would look a lot better now on today's computers, but even back then, it looked a lot better than this. Of course, by the time this game came out on the original Xbox, the Xbox was uh, an old, very old computer, especially if you judge it by its specs. It was the most powerful console of its generation by far, but that doesn't mean it can hold a candle to a computer from circa 2005. Or 2004, let alone 2005. <coughs> Oops. No card found. Okay, I guess we go this way. Attention. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office for Alpha. Report to Sergeant Alpha. Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Hey, right. that's Wild Golden. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. All right. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? No, I don't. I have no orders whatsoever. Uh, where's Command? Combat prep. Here it is. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. Yeah. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You can pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Yay. Right. Look at this little guy. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Yeah. Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your Volunteer service branch for director for more details. Volunteering at a lab. That sounds a little dicey. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. They weren't writing these deliberately funny like they did uh, in 2016 in the current. Uh, oh, I guess we're here. Cool. I followed the robots. I don't know what he's complaining about me not following orders.
Union Aerospace Subsystems, Mars City Underground. All right. That's what we've got here. Because we all know things are just going to go south here pretty soon. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm going to need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. New email? Well, I gotta Man, open that up. It's nothing more exciting than a new email. By pressing the D-pad button. Down grenade, left machine gun, right shotgun. Alright. Good to know. I'm glad Let I read that email. Radio test. I did not know that. Marsec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Okay, you're all set. Alright. We've got this handy dandy flashlight, which is definitely going to be necessary. Hey, you're looking for the scientist. I'm not sure you want to find him. You see, uh, never mind. Hmm. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I say. I shouldn't talk about it. It's really not my business. Then why'd you come up to me in the first place? I shouldn't talk about it. Alright, well, you approached me, sir. I did not approach you. Alright. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the um, settings here. I feel like there should be subtitle options. I'm not seeing anything though. Crouch should not be hold. I don't see anything about uh, any subtitle options here. Oh well. Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kind of busy here. Right, you, you look real busy. Update security codes. Five three one. They didn't realize you could open both cabinets from one security panel. Apparently there's another cabinet somewhere around here. So it's number 531. Oops. Five, three. Dag it, I hit the wrong button. Things with your flashlight. 
Oh, it's this other security cab panel. This other security cabinet, I mean. That's supposedly open. Sneaking up on people? You make Everyone's it already on edge down here with all the strange me. things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. Alright, you're the one who reacted to me. I'm already using my flashlight to illuminate dark areas, but thank you for reminding me. Marine, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I... I don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. The devil I know. Is real. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God! I can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Sergeant Kelly, we're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await okay. further orders. That guy's having a bad day. By the way, by the way, I have a crock pot full of chili cooking right now. Just keeping an eye on. It's not going to be done until right around the time the stream's over. But I'm going to remind myself of that fact anyway. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Oops, wrong button.
Filtration arm in motion. Bridge extension in seven. All units, seconds. this is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th, 2145. Okay. So that's the current the operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. To date, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures, and this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. 842, we should remember that, just in case. <laughs> it's almost as if I remember something from playing this a couple days ago uh, when I got this uh, Xbox hooked up. Uh, uh, let's take a look here. Let's just say we had that had that state. Got 
doesn't seem like a good weapon for that. So up his pistol and right on the D pad is shot. Set here, 842. Flashlight is pretty effective with dealing with these guys. Maybe we should do that to save some ammo. I am out of armor and I'm getting kind of low on health, so I should probably not do that. I go back to that one where that one fire was coming from, right? That's a good idea. Armor, I'll take that. I sure it went back there as soon as I got this uh, as soon as I hit that code in. Wondering, I was talking in today's cross code stream about being stuck on a particular part, on a particular part while testing this game just to make sure it worked, and that was it. I didn't listen to the audio log about that stuff. I'm glad I did this time. Or am I? I'll be honest with you, there doesn't seem to be anything here, does there? jump on these pipes, but to what end? Seems like that should be for something, but I can't tell if you want to. I got some stuff out of it, but that was not. That was actually. 
trees along. me, I'm just a little lost. want to have your flashlight equipped most of the time unless you actually are coming face to face with one of you. And it's those basic ones that can't even shoot you and naturally your flashlight is your best weapon against them. I understand they implemented some form of the famous duct tape mod in the Doom 3 PFG edition. Which basically duct tape a flashlight to your gun. him to disintegrate. Hey, I got his PDA. Got a new guy in the way. Thanks, bro. Oh, dear. Yeah, good going, bro. Uh, hey, bro, how do you get past this door?
Look, it's an issue of Favor magazine. That one's a lunch. The cake from a can of don't call it cake. Indicative of where you're supposed to go. Not that that uh, at all applies to this. It's just a. <coughs> the PDA, see if we can find some more information. like an admission objective indicator. Here we go. Return to Mars City. Okay, so basically we have to make the, our way to the elevator to head uh, back up then, right? Yeah. I want to get back to where that uh, bridge that I extended was. If I can do that. find any sort of like map or anything in this game. I don't actually know where it is. I mean I, I wanna get down can I just <coughs> no. I wanna get down there. That's where it is. I think the elevator is like right there or something like that.
kept moving in the direction of where it is. I'll be honest with you, a lot of these portals are looking awfully similar to me right now. This is the elevator. And that's right. That's why I can't use that. Dang damn it. then. I know I've gotten past this area before a long time ago, but I know it is possible. I just need to figure out how. That's all. Definitely not crawling through there.
seems like a very quiet day in chat there. <laughs> I'm surprised. Doom 3 is not exactly a, um, a popular game at the moment. My channel is not exactly a, a very popular one either. That's okay. I'm doing this because I'm interested. enjoying myself, I just would be enjoying myself more if I knew where I was supposed to go. <coughs> Seems like I should be able to climb this thing, but even if I could, to what end? I can't crawl through that gap. <coughs> that seemed kind of a waste to put this pipe here that you can clearly climb on and not do anything with it. I can't even remember what was in this room. What was the point of deactivating those fire vents? Was it like some shards or something? That's where I should be going, right? Just not getting into there. And we are getting in here, apparently. Okay. something there. Armor, I'll definitely take all of that. Please and thank you. Back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Alright. I made it past the part I was stuck at. That's good news. This uh this steelboard case is not in all that great shape. And I hunted down this particular version because not only does it look cool, um, but it also has uh, copies of um, Doom Ultimate and Doom 2. This is, this is the special edition version. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ and we and await further orders. 
What is this current position? Should we be looking for that? Passcode again for the uh, locker room thingy. Five three one. What? I guess that's not right then. Alright, we're gonna need uh, another uh, security code for this store. Maybe we'll be able to find it. That is important. I guess someone really needed a hand. Ah. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I think for sure I, I found it. It was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. It started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Hurry back with some help. I don't want to stay up here alone. Then come with me. You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Fine. For the record, I don't think this is very safe. And again, it's not like following me is going to keep you any safer. Still alive, at least. All right, let's uh, see if we can figure out what we're supposed to find. So I was worried about that steam hurting me or something. Up the old PDA. Well, the crock pot is bubbling away over there. Hold on a second. I had to go check on it. It's got a little under an hour left. See here. Chainsaws have no purpose on Mars. I'm sending these back as soon as we get the time. Looking for any useful information.
like for example the security code for that one thing don't see anything like that though this is Mark Stanton manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City I'm not sure who to send this to so I decided to send it to quite a few people if you're on the recipient list please take a moment to review this report it is quite important I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here I am the manifest controller and as such I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City yeah, yeah, someone yeah. here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped this is unacceptable not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. <laughs> one of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Okay, I was hoping that would be um, something about that uh, cargo thing with the security code, but nope, it's not. Oh, well. But it did let me know that apparently there are chainsaws nearby, so I should keep an eye out for that. Laptop that's seen better days. Oops, wrong button. That guy's got a fast firing gun of some kind. A machine gun. Use the machine gun. Not much ammo, though. So. Stick to the shotgun for the moment. Dell keyboard. I feel like the one that's sitting next to me. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty standard uh, layout for a computer keyboard. Med kit. And I'm taking it that key card is going to be for that thing. Command HQ, this is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson. This is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Take your last known RP and fortify your position. He'll find you. I'm making progress. <laughs> Took twice as many hits, but still didn't use any ammo. Okay, 
Okay, I'm in need of some armor. Badly, apparently. Med kit? That helps. I need more than that. More than that. Five, three, one. Now it's a different security code. I think there'd be medicine in the infirmary, but apparently not. Oh well. Um, the old back button. See what options I have for save. Quick save. Press to overwrite. Yeah, let's quick save it. A PDA. Let's go take a look at that. Maybe it has the information I'm looking for. Locking supplies in the cabinet. Nothing about. I might have to listen to the audio log for that. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. Of what? As many people will not come in for this type of thing, a number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40 percent range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. Dr. Mark Casian, at 15.47, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Sounds Mr. Like Wills was calm me. and exhibited <laughs> no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills zombie. lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. Great. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. 347. Dr. Casey and out. Got that, folks? 347. For, for anyone playing along at home. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. That's what 
I'm talking about. You know what else I'm talking about? Quick saving it. Because I can. <laughs> part of the infirmary. I wonder if that will work on the other thing I found. Boy, I thought these were pool tables. They kind of look like them. From a certain angle. Sure. Shooting at me while I'm busy looking at the Stuff I thought was pool tables. Not nice. Not nice at all. I uh, waste shotgun ammo on something like that. Picture of Earth, though. Video link up requested. Video link up requested. Video link up requested. Connection established. Marine, I can't believe you're still alive. Yeah. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Hmm. That's funny. Uh, not too long ago, he was uh, criticizing me for my inability to follow orders. That's not gonna work. Let's take a look at this PDA info we got. Maybe it says something useful. Meanwhile, If the ammo had been loaded, that Marine would have been killed. Thankfully, the other Marine was able to immobilize quickly. Alright. New arrival. Security code change. Five eight four. We've been able to change the weapon storage code in the Marine Command to five eight four. All right. Well, there's a couple audio logs in there as well. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my Marines sharp and ready to go. Do you but events know? at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing, and no Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. The bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a razor's edge. At this point, there the is no cause for edge. alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route, 
Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Troop deployment. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I guess I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. All right. We'll see about that. See if any of these new uh, recruits survive, I guess. So far, the outlook is not good. That's where I just came from. That door won't open. Actually, no, that's where I just came from. Like I said, a lot of these corridors look awfully similar. The, um... Hold on a second, let me pull up the uh, PDA here. It's not that I wasn't paying attention to it, it's just I don't remember it. Uh, 584. Seems like an excellent time to do another quick save. Alright. Unfortunately, what that did what that did not do was clear the way forward for me. as effective as the shotgun, but it's good to have options. I thought I was just hearing my own footsteps there. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was unexpected. That guy just snuck up on me. Looks like a stick of RAM there. All right, um, or maybe a double floppy disk. What am I looking at? All right, um.
feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Need some chili cooking in the old crock pot. Marine, if you're only crossing your operational center. Dag it. Keep hitting the wrong button. But use them. A lot of firepower. Okay, it's I kept trying to deactivate the flashlight, but it didn't work. Ah, Columba. Seriously. I was holding the... pushing the right button, but it wasn't bringing up the last gun. Because the downside to always carrying the flashlight is that when you start a new level, it forgets what it was the last gun you were carrying, so you can't just unequip the flashlight. You actually have to select the gun. Something about what was he saying? Something about operational sentries? Right. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. Assuming that was an enemy. <laughs> Shoot first, ask questions later. Is that the same? Basically, what I did. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Yeah, I know. Hey, guess what? I'm a little more concerned with my own survival at the moment, so... Would you kindly put a sock in it, please?
definitely need some health and some armor. I mean, I won't say no to more machine gun ammo, that's for sure, but... Health and armor. First time after you. Keep your guns reloaded, people. It's important. Keep your guns loaded, I mean. Don't be like me. <laughs> oh, memories of this desk for some reason. In this kitchen area, I guess. Not sure why. It's because of the snacks machine. Back window. It's the first time you actually see the outdoor area of this game. This house. No. No, but that's health. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher. I don't know if in the PC version that this game is playable. Super Turbo Tur Turkey Puncher 3, excuse me. This is supposed to be a fighting game? Kind of looks like it. Looks like Super Street Fighter Alpha. Or Street Fighter Alpha 3 font there or something, I don't know. Super Street Fighter Alpha. What am I a moron? Now I'm just, well, yeah, I am, but. Any more health? Max pain, this is not. I remember about here being the little first little robot thing that you find. Sorry about that, I heard some steam coming from the crock pot that's cooking my chili. 
I needed to investigate what it was. Alright, um, I guess I'll just hop in this elevator and see what happens. What's happening is the next level. Again, I hit the wrong button. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars hmm. Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. Could he be the master chief? While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Annotate? Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never Shows discharge weapons gun. in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures Aim is paramount to your success face. here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection the on the core. Wow. Take good care and good luck on your new assignment. All right. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruga. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruga. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. July 7th, Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the elemental phase deconstructor, hydrocarbon, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility. Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation course. strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Look how non-specific their research seems to be. Surprised us. 
They just came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. All right. I can no longer talk to him. All right. Wonder why. Let's um. Access denied. Okay, the PDA of William Banks. I was hoping that was William Banks. It is not. Now oh, my flashlight disintegrated him. Not how flashlights normally work, is it? <laughs> my flashlight is secretly a Romulan destroyer. that time. Maybe those first footsteps weren't mine. It's like uh, one of those radios you plug an iPod into. Now this is where that thing was taking place. Scene, I mean, with that thing. I got a trigger by him. Here's where the thing was. <laughs> right. I'm not seeing any sign of a PDA, so I guess we have to move along then. Kind of looks like a warthog. Alright, let's get, um, from Halo. I know it's just a hump V, but still. Uh, sure. Gonna be the best thing against it. That's my
destroyed that enemy, I deliberately decided to wait on collecting that health pack. Now I'll collect it. No point in getting to full health if you know you're about to take damage. Wait until after. Needless to say, I'm making progress. I'm enjoying this game a lot more. I'm not just falling around the exact same corridors, just mostly similar ones. Excuse me. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. A growth that's unidentified, huh? That's not good news. somewhere else. All right, let's go. Paul Simon. That's me, the lead singer of, um, this? Is that Paul Stanley? <laughs> in Halo, it's slightly easier to figure out where you came from. So pay attention to which way the arrows are flying. Oh, oh, Two or three shots, that's pretty good. I haven't even come close to running out of shotgun ammo. It's only pistol ammo, really. 
Does this game have the super shotgun? I don't know. Stupid computer. Hold on a second. That's my crockpot going off. It's done cooking, it's just keeping it warm now. In an attempt to eat healthier, I'm making this chili with uh, turkey, with ground turkey. It's going to result in it being both healthier and blander tasting, so I probably should have put extra seasoning in it though. Oh well, I'll do it now. Yeah, sure. Whoa, crap, did I... I think I accidentally hit restart when I thought it was asking me to save it. Oops. <sighs> Sorry about that. I. It's me being a moron, I guess. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No. <laughs> Alright, well. I didn't get very far, so... Now pay attention to what I'm doing here. Killed, for example, that would be one definition of stupid. I honestly thought he was asking me to stay, but it must have been identical. Not health. That's health, though. Oh. 
be behind me. That's annoying. You need to stop that. It's doing so much better before I accidentally restarted from the last checkpoint. So much better. You have no idea. Actually, you do, because you're watching the whole thing. because I had to check on the status of my croc. What a croc. Yeah. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. Looks like I got some more armor. I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system All somewhere right, else. Let's check out what that is. Yes, this is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whomever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network Don't closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. But nothing useful for me, though. just as many shotgun shells from that range as wax from the flashlight. Finally, some med kits. save here. I prefer to do that with higher health, but considering I've already accidentally restarted my progress in this game today, once I can't take the chance. Save a little, be a little more vigilant about saving. and some shells. Anything 
else in here? No? Okay. Fine. Be that way. Be that way. effectively a assault rifle would be against those things. On the other hand, I kind of think it's worth risking it just to find out. I'll stick with the tried and true. If I had uh, disintegrated that guy's body, if he wouldn't have uh, attacked me, that, assuming that was him. Anyways. Access granted. This looks exactly like the elevators from June 2016. Oh, oh, stay away. And look, it's another quote level. No signs of these sentry bots yet. Maybe they're not in the original Xbox. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. I need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. Find the transfer bay to the next factor. I thought the fat guy was going to explode if I hit him. <laughs> yeah, I know. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Alright, this seems like as good of a time as any to quick save. Considering I'm at full health and 60% armor. Yeah, I did something right there. Uh, haven't checked out this guy's stuff yet. Religious artifacts. Missing person. And a new website? UA Corp web UA Corp .com web team. I wonder if that uh, website is uh, something I can do anything with. Let's type it in here. UA Corp dot com. says site cannot be reached eh. 
Oh, UA stands for Union Aerospace. I, I, it took me way too long to figure out that UAC stands for U, uh, Union Aerospace Corporation. Wow, I really am dumber than a sack of rocks, aren't I? <laughs> what does this Union Aerospace have to do with the UAC? That, that don't make no sense. Ah. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. Captain's it has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is... Very disturbing. Yes. Especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. Schizophrenia I hope there doesn't is no seem connection like something between that comes those on suddenly. These reports of missing personnel. Maybe I maybe it does. I don't know. It sure doesn't seem like it. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October fifth, twenty one forty five. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical yeah. systems to malfunction. The report explains that this right is due now. to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. Okay, that's a rather abrupt end to your log. Should probably reload this thing. How's the shotgun doing? Yeah, reload that too. I came from. So I guess this is where I need to go then. Figured he had a shotgun. Really taking cover behind the Wow. Alright, the door is finished. Come on. That guy was really taking cover behind the explosive barrel, wasn't he? I think the expansion to this game, uh, Insurrection, added what was basically the gravity gun from Half Life 2. Which, by the way, I need to pick up a copy of Half Life 2 for the original Xbox. That would definitely be an interesting stub subject for a future day as well, for a future um, Retro Monday stream. So I think I'll have to play the original Xbox version of that game uh, in such a manner. I'd rather either play the PC version, which I already have, or the PC version. Enemy, 
spawn right on top. And just like that, I have basically no health again. All because they decide to put a spin in back to that med kit that I think I know the location of. There we go. I were I would play the um, PC release or maybe I would get the um, like the Xbox one version of the release of Doom 3 um, BFG edition I'm at full health. And a PDA. Find a nice quiet corner and take a look at the stuff I just got. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, <laughs> we had a terrible accident last week. A terrible. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber. And he got incinerated. And witnesses say he appeared to see something, so almost like uh, something was talking to him and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of log. I don't think that would have helped that guy, but okay, 752. I'll keep that in mind. Let's take a look at this uh, video I got here. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Seven, five, two, our new ventures on number. planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create yeah, new elements. Rust? Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. 
With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is, is building an ever organic? brighter future for humankind. All right, sounds promising. Of course, it's not, uh, it's not really uh, working out all that well at the moment now, is it? Guess who forgot the passcode? This guy, me. Which means guess who has to listen to that message again? This Audio guy. Audio log me. for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the <laughs> EPD project. Uh, the uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is house, very So this impressive. is not an option. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, oh. and witnesses say he appeared to see something, so almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and... He was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. Seven. End of log. Five. Two. Seven. Five, two. Yeah, look at that. Got grenades here. Quick save time. Boom. So we have to go that way? showing up out of nowhere on you. Oh crap. A little bit of an epilepsy warning might be necessary for some people for that sequence. Never know if that's going to turn into a zombie. Shoot all dead bodies or bash them off your flashlight.
computer key thing. Leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Brian Jenkins, buddy system. All right. Audio log for Jack Smith, uh, benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I uh, just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. Great. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. Great. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because, uh, according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Wonderful. Please mark this for review at corporate. End of log. Huh. Well, isn't that just wonderful? What's this thing scanning for?
Jerky McJerk face needs to be shot in his jerk like face. Which is exactly why I did. I do that, I'm gonna pop into this room and see if there's anything linkable here. Alright, that's why I just came up. Never mind. Uh, so... Yeah, some health here. Another level complete. I'm gonna see what the next level is like. What I'm probably gonna call it a stream here, folks. I've been streaming this for two and a half hours. Got a good fill of this game. It's it's okay. It is not really deserving or deserving of the derision that it received in the years after it came out. It's not really deserving the hype that came out that it had before its release either. It's okay. Yeah, you could could brighten up the game a little bit, just give you a little more increase in um, brightness here. Also, this is definitely not the best version of this game, obviously. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And I think I'm going to call it a day. But before I do, I'm going to take a moment uh, to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and videos rather than live or in archive form. Just as a quick reminder, I do a stream, daily long play stream, almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday through Thursday. And right now I'm still playing through um, uh, Cross Code on the Xbox Series X. I do a stream like this, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, retro or otherwise, and occasional 4K and or HDR uploads on Fridays. So, yeah, I'm just loading back in here just to make sure that it actually, um, saved. Let me do a proper save as well. Yep, that's going to do it for me, though. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for more CrossCode. And until then, take it easy.